These shuttle liftoffs have become so commonplace that they're not even announced on the front page of the paper anymore. In fact, you had to look six pages in this morning to find any mention of this once momentous event. It was a big deal, however, for these people who awoke early to watch the launch on two big screens at the NASA Visitor Center. About 50 space freaks listened to Mission Control's countdown. T-minus two minutes, 30 seconds and counting. There were no commercials, no anchormen, no experts. Doug Weeks of Smithfield appreciated that. Uh, I've watched it enough times on commercial TV and I wanted to be in the atmosphere that created this whole thing. Richard Maxwell liked the surroundings. It's kind of nice coming over here because this is where the shuttle was born. Three, two, one, and solid motor ignition and liftoff. There were smiles but few cheers as the shuttle climbed skyward. Still, for these observers, it was the next best thing to being there. Would you like to be down at Cape Canaveral to see one of these? At least once. At least once, yeah. If you miss the shuttle liftoff, there's always the shuttle return, scheduled now for next Tuesday around 9.30 a.m. And once again, the big screens here at NASA Langley will be available for viewing. In Hampton, Joel Rubin, The Daily News.